Hey guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Anne. If you're here for the first time, welcome. If you have been here already, welcome back. In today's video, I'm going to show you how I created today's makeup look. And the cool thing is that I use mainly affordable products. For my eyes, I use this palette, which is only $6. I got it for 5 euros, so I think it's around $6, which I think is absolutely amazing. And for my whole face, I also try to stick to only using affordable products. So I'm going to show you how I created this whole makeup look. So let's get started. I hope you guys will enjoy. So the first thing I'm going to do, which I always do, is prime my eyelids. And I'm using the MAC Cosmetics Soft Ochre Paint Pot, which is my absolute favorite eyeshadow primer ever. I feel like it's the best out there. It just really makes your eyeshadows last all day, which I think is really important. And also it removes all the redness of the eyelids, which I also really appreciate. So now today I'm going to use this gorgeous palette from Revolution, which I only got for 5 euros, which I think is around $6 and I think that's an amazing price. So I'm going to start with the light color and I'm just applying this all over the eyelid to kind of lock that primer in place. And then I went in with this light brown peachy color and I'm going to start blending this all the way in my inner corner and in my outer corner of my crease. I'm just going to slowly build it up. I went a few times back in with my brush to really build up this color because I kind of like to start it like a little bit more lighter when it comes to my transition shade. So I start with a little bit of product. I blend this all over my crease and then I go back in with my brush a few times in that same shade to make it darker and darker. And I think this eyeshadow color was actually really buildable, which I appreciate because this way it's just really easy to kind of make you go like to the next color which is darker so now i'm taking this shade which is like a light brownie color with a really beautiful warm undertone and i'm going to blend this in my crease as well i feel like it doesn't make like a huge difference because i used so much of that first color that it was already looking quite dark but this will definitely make it more warmer since it has a little bit more orange in it and also I really try to focus at my outer V area because I'm not going for a wing today and I'm also not like using eyeshadow guards today. So I really wanted to have like a sort of smoky blown out effect at the outer V area. So now I'm going to use a shade which is slightly darker. I think it's also the darkest brown color in this palette. There's also a dark red color, like a burgundy reddish shade, but this is like the darkest brown. So I'm going to blend that in my outer V as well. And I just want to give you guys as a tip, like every time you go in with a darker shade, make sure you blend it around the outer V as well. This way the, like the darkness in your crease will be the same as in your outer V area. And also if you blend it at the inner corner as well, you will kind of create a sort of depth at both sides of your eyelids. Then now I'm taking this Pro Longwear Concealer from MAC Cosmetics and I'm going to use that to cut the crease because I want to create a sort of halo effect and by using some concealer this just makes it really easy and I'm also going to drag it a little bit lower so it's like covered on the whole middle part of my eyelids. Then now that I'm done with applying that concealer all over the eyelid, I'm going in with this light color which I also used at the beginning. And I'm going to press this at the middle part of my eyelid. And I'm going back in a few times because I really wanted my like inner part of my eyelid to be as bright as possible. So I packed like a lot of this eyeshadow on there. Then I went in with this peachy color and I'm going to kind of blend that around the edges of my eyelid on both sides. I want my eyelid to go from really light to peachy and then blend into the darkness around both outer ends of my eyelid. I really hope that makes sense. But this way you will create that halo where you have like a spotlight at the middle and darkness at the outer ends. And I think that's really pretty. It will really make your eyes stand out. Also for if you're wearing glasses, if you do like a spotlight kind of eye look, it will really um, kind of 
catch the attention to your eyes, which I think is really beautiful. So now I'm going to blend a little bit of that dark brown shade, which I also used in my crease around the edges to really make sure that the shades on the eyelid blend together with the shades in my crease. Since I have already used that in my crease, it's now really easy to blend because the shade is already there. So it's just a matter of blending. So now I'm going to make a brush wet using some MAC Fix Plus because I'm going to use this glitter from MAC Cosmetics. And I'm going to softly apply a little bit of that in the inner corner of my eyelids. So basically this is optional, you don't have to do this, I just wanted to give this eye look a different twist. I really liked how it looked before applying glitter, so you can really keep it that way, but I wanted to spice it up a little bit and apply some glitter just to see how that looks. But just feel like this is optional, you don't have to do that. So now I'm going in with this eyeliner from Maybelline, which is actually a really good eyeliner. Um, I forgot to close the cap a few times to be honest and it never dried out which I really appreciate. I'm not really sure if it's good you know with like bacteria and stuff but I really appreciate that it didn't dry out. Um, I think it's really good for like a drugstore eyeliner to get the Maybelline one. So for now I'm done with my eyes. I first want to apply some foundation and concealer and then I'm going to like do my lower lash line, apply some lashes and all that stuff. For today's video, I kind of want to try to use only like affordable makeup products, which you can get at the drugstore. I have this base kit where I like put all products in that I want to use for today's video. I actually saw that I have this strobe cream from NYX, which is called the Away We Glow Strobing Cream. And this reminds me so much of the strobe cream from MAC which is so beautiful, so I definitely want to use it today. I also have a new foundation, which is Drugstore, which I absolutely love. So I want to try that as well. I have just a lot of products that I want to try for today's video. This is the product I was talking about. This is the Strobe Cream from MAC. And I think it's really similar. I already swatched both of my hand and they just look almost the same. So I'm just gonna see how this looks today and maybe this will kind of replace the MAC one because obviously the NYX one is way more affordable. So I'm just going to apply a little bit on the back of my hand. And I'm going to apply it on the face. Look how beautiful that is. I have to see like how it goes together with my foundation. But so far, I really think this looks like almost exactly the same as the Max Tro Cream. So that makes me really excited. Then now for my foundation, I'm going in with this foundation from Maybelline, which I recently started using. I don't think I have used it on camera already, but I kind of tested it out off camera. I just wanted to see if it worked for my skin. And I have to say, this one is absolutely amazing. It is a little bit dewy and it has also like a sheen, but I feel like it makes my skin look really natural and you can really build up the coverage. So I really love this one and I'm going to use it today. It's called the Maybelline Fit Me and I'm using it in the shade Sandy Bash. So I think if you have like really bad acne, um, this might not be the foundation for you, but of course you can always go in with like a lot of concealer and make it work. So the concealer I'll be using today is the Fit Me Concealer from Maybelline and I'm using it in the shade 10. So I'm just going to apply it on all the places where I normally apply concealer, which is underneath my eyes, a little bit on my chin area, a little bit on my nose and on my forehead. And today I'm also going to apply a little bit on the few blemishes, just to cover it up a little bit more. And then I'm taking my beauty blender to blend all of the concealer. So I think you can still see that one on my forehead, it's quite big, but I'm totally fine with it. Like it's so big, I don't even think I can cover it up like completely. Or I have to go in with like a full coverage powder, but I don't want like my forehead to look really powdery. So I'm just going to keep it like this. So I'm also going to use some concealer to contour my forehead. And normally I always use this one from Tarte Cosmetics. It's the Shape Tape Concealer and I use it in the shade Rich. Now I was at the store two days ago and I saw this uh, concealer from Maybelline, which is also a Fit Me concealer, same as I use for underneath the eyes. But this one is in the shade number 55. And if you see them like next to each other, I think they look really similar. 
I think the Maybelline one is maybe a little bit warmer, but I thought it would be cool to test this out since it's more affordable. So I'm just going to use it in the same way as I normally use that shape tape concealer. I'm going to apply a few dots on my forehead and then blend it out with a beauty blender. Okay, I think this is actually way more on the orange side compared to the Tarte ones, so I don't think I will ever use this one again. But it was worth the try, you never know, maybe you find something which is affordable, which is even better, so I'm happy that I tried. But this is definitely a no for me. So a concealer which I also really like to contour my forehead with is the LA Girl Pro Concealer in the shade Toast. Sometimes I use this instead of the Tarte one and this one is actually more on the cool side. So I'm going to apply a little bit of that on my forehead as well. And I'm going to use that same LA Girl concealer to contour my jawline. Then now before I'm going to set my whole face with powder, I first want to try out this product from Revolution, which is called the Liquid Highlighter in the shade Liquid Champagne. So I saw this at the store and I think it looked really beautiful. I swatched it on my arm and I just felt like I had to have this. I could... Hey, I'm going to film my young dwaas. Come over here, dog. <laughs> but... boyfriend just brought me a cup of tea and I literally burned my hands <laughs> but um, okay what was I saying I'm now going in with a liquid highlighter I always do this before applying powder because if you apply this on top of powder it doesn't really go well together always so I'm going to use this revolution liquid highlighter in the shade liquid champagne I haven't I haven't used this yet and when I saw it at the store it's absolutely beautiful it's just a really gorgeous liquid highlighter so I'm applying a little bit on the back of my hands and then I'm going to apply it with a beauty blender. Okay, I think that's actually really beautiful. I have never used like the um, iconic drops which are really popular, but I think it's something like that um, and I think it's really beautiful. I love it when I discover new products which are like drugstore because now I can like include more of them in my videos which I just love and they're just affordable. So if I wanna repurchase it, it almost costs nothing, which is good. Okay, I'm in love, this is amazing. So it was the Revolution um, Liquid Highlighter in the shade Liquid Champagne. So now to set my whole face, I'm going to take this Maybelline Fit Me Powder in the shade 10, which is called Fair Light. I've never used this setting powder, so hopefully this will not ruin the whole makeup look because at this point I think it's looking really good and I don't want to like mess it all up. But I've heard really great stories about it. So I'm just going to dip my beauty blender in here and then apply it on the face. Okay, so I do notice that it does kind of dry up my skin, which I don't really mind, but when I look up really close, you can see like a little bit of a powdery texture, which I think is not really flattering. So I'm going definitely in with some setting powder at the end when I'm done with my whole look. And you can still see like that shine from the liquid highlighter that I just applied. And I feel like that kind of keeps it looking alive, which is good. If I wouldn't have done that, it's probably looking really just overall matte so I would definitely suggest to use like a liquid highlighter because it just makes your skin look so healthy and glowing from within so I'm now going to finish off my eyes and then later I will like do my bronzer and blush and all that stuff so now I'm going back in with that brown color and a pencil brush which I believe is by Morphe brushes and I'm going to slowly kind of press this underneath the lower lash line and while I'm pressing, I'm also going to kind of softly blend this. The shade is quite dark, so I didn't want it to use like too much product like in once. I try to kind of slowly build it up and go back in with more of that eyeshadow by time. Now I'm taking this pencil from Suifa, which is in the shade Carnot. I have used this plenty of times on my YouTube channel. I think it's a really nice, affordable, inexpensive pencil, which is nude and which will like kind of make your eyes look more bigger 
and more brighter. So I used that for a new waterline. Then I curled my lashes so I'm ready for mascara. And for my mascara, I used the Maybelline Less Sensational Mascara. And I'm just going to apply a tin coat on my upper lashes and apply it on my lower lashes as well. Now today for my lashes, I'm using the Lash in the City lashes from Velour Lashes, which are actually so freaking beautiful. I've used them in the past, but I think I kind of forgot how beautiful these are. I feel like they really suit my eye shape. They're not too long, not too short. I think they're really beautiful. And I think you guys will definitely see me use these lashes more often because I always find it hard to like find the perfect lashes for my eye shape um, so very often I use lashes which I think are kind of too big for me but these I think are actually really beautiful and now you can see how it looks so the eyes are now finished so it's time to finish off the rest of my face I actually really love how the eyes turned out I love the lashes that I'm wearing which are the Velour lashes called Lash in the City I think they're just really beautiful and they're not too dramatic so maybe I found a style which actually works for me. I'm really picky when it comes to lashes. I don't like lashes that are too dramatic, but also not when you can barely see them. And I think these are actually perfect. So I'm now going to first apply a little bit of bronzer using my all-time favorite bronzer from Revolution, which is called the Ultra Bronze. I'm not going to apply too much because I did already contour my forehead and I don't want it to look like too dark. So I'm just going to blend a little bit on the forehead. Then now for my highlight, I'm taking this palette from Revolution Pro, which is called the 4K Highlighter Palette in the shade Rose Gold. And I now realize how many products I'm using today, which are from Revolution. I think that's just because they have a lot of good products. I think they have one of the best drugstore palettes. Um, their liquid thing was amazing. Um, they just have a lot of cool stuff. So I'm going to use this shade from the palette, which is one of my favorite drugstore highlighters ever. And I'm going to apply this on all the places where I normally highlight as well, which are just my cheekbones and a little bit on my forehead. And I wanted to apply it on my chin as well, but I think I'm not going to do that. Sometimes it looks a little bit weird on me. Then now to give my cheeks a little bit of color, I'm going in with this blush from Rimmel London, which I have already used like very often on my YouTube channel. It's in the shade Sweet Cheeks and it's just so beautiful. So I'm going to apply a little bit of this on the apples of my cheeks. Then now to line my lips, I'm taking this lip pencil from NYX in the shade Sugar Glass and I'm going to use this to line my lips. On top of that, I'm going to use this lipstick from NYX Cosmetics, which is the Suede Matte Lipstick in the shade Dainty Days. Then now on top of that, I'm going to use a little bit of lip gloss, also from the brand NYX Cosmetics, which is the NYX Lingerie Gloss in the shade Shy. And then this is the finished result. I really love how it turned out. I could go in with some setting spray, but I actually really love how it's looking right now. My skin is a little bit like combination oily. So when I apply a really dry foundation or powder, after like an hour or so, my skin gets a little bit oily. It, it combines with the powder and it turns into something not powdery, if that makes sense. So I feel like I don't really have to set my foundation right now. So I'm just going to keep it like this. But yeah, I really like how today's look turned out and especially for the fact that I almost only use affordable products. I really love the eye makeup. Um, I think this palette is just amazing, especially for the price point. I haven't used the shimmers yet in it. Um, I think I only played with mattes today, but the shimmers look okay. I just think for the price, I mean like six dollars, five euros, like just grab it. I think you guys will love it. And if you want, I can definitely film another video with it. So yeah, I really hope you all enjoy watching today's video. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. This is really helpful for my YouTube channel and hopefully I will see you all in my next video. Bye! -bye.
for you now You got two minutes of my time And I don't really break too easily But I'm worth it Cause I'll slip into your dreams tonight Oh, So give me, so give me your all I'll take it, I'll take it to Mars Oh, I'll stick like glue inside your mind Just watch me break it 